They are majestic, speckled in brilliant colors. Their paper-thin wings carry them from flower to flower, each one just as mesmerizing as the next. But butterflies are more than just beautiful. They're an essential component of our ecosystem. Perhaps their most obvious role is pollination, keeping plant species that other animals depend on alive. Additionally, they themselves are a vital food source for many animal species and serve as an early warning system when something is amiss in the environment. Well, butterflies are the quintessential botanists. Each kind of butterfly, its caterpillars eat only one or a few kinds of plants and if those plants aren't there the butterflies won't be around so if you have a meadow and you convert the meadow into a, a parking lot for example uh, many people think well the butterflies just fly somewhere else but unfortunately that's not true the butterflies are gone forever uh, you've destroyed their habitat you've destroyed the plants the caterpillars eat the lower rio grande valley serves as a funnel for wildlife migrating through the central u.s flyway this ecologically diverse corridor with its subtropical climate and exceptionally large concentration of butterflies has become the epicenter of discovery for outdoor enthusiasts and conservationists. The National Butterfly Center is located here for this reason. This is the ideal place to see butterflies in their natural habitat year round. The Lower Rio Grande Valley has a perfect climate for them and um, Considering that there is no real freeze around here, it doesn't really freeze, it's a plus for the butterflies. For example, we have the monarch. The monarch comes from Canada, and it has to have different spots where it lands. This is one of their major spots right before going into Mexico. This is a very uh, narrow passing zone that they have to come through. So if we were to destroy our uh, native plants, they wouldn't have a way for them to feed here. So they would stop here, it would die here instead of continuing on. We believe that if we can save butterflies, we can save ourselves. And by that, I mean that if we can save butterflies, that means we've saved enough land and enough water um, uh, for the butterflies to survive. Uh, that's important because the more people that realize the importance of butterflies, get involved with uh, butterflies, the better off we all be at saving the habitats that we need to save so that, that people can, uh, can be here on, on, on the planet. For as delicate as they appear, these winged wonders are a tremendous environmental force and a vital part of our existence. Efforts to protect them not only ensures their future, but ours as well. The mission of the National Butterfly Center is to conserve butterflies and also to educate people, the public, about the importance of butterflies, the beauty of butterflies and uh, the importance to the environment and also what butterflies can mean to their lives. Situated on 100 acres in Mission, Texas, the National Butterfly Center is a haven for those who want to learn more about these beautiful creatures and their importance. Interactive exhibits and displays within the center support the visitor's experience in the gardens and on the trails where some of the most rare and spectacular butterflies in the country may be found. In fact, more than 200 species have been seen here. The National Butterfly Center is here to educate and engage the public in wild butterfly conservation. We do that through a variety of tours and programs and special events that are open to everyone. We have the annual Texas Butterfly Festival, as well as the Rio Grand Prix of Butterflying, which is our big day species count. This year, we also have the North American Butterfly Photo Contest. Our next phase of development at the National Butterfly Center is the Texas Butterfly Gardens. There'll be a showcase of butterfly gardens by plant species. And these are species that feed particular butterflies and are larval hosts for their eggs and caterpillars. In the Texas Butterfly Gardens, we'll have our pyramid, we'll have our sunken butterfly wing gardens, and we'll also have a butterfly house and nursery for inclement weather. The uh, Lower Grand Rio Grande Valley is rich in its uh, soil for all these native plants. Um, we have so many trees that we plant ourselves here to attract so much wildlife. If you plant plants that are not native to the region, they really don't feed the butterflies. They don't really don't help the land. So 
when they come here um, they get to see the real native plants and the, the beauty of them and we have a, a large abundance of butterflies in any given day you can go to a, any garden and see maybe 20 species when they, any given day here you can see over 100 species the center welcomes thousands of visitors each year and proudly hosts school field trips and other activities designed to give youths hands-on environmental education and rewarding outdoor encounters with wildlife. The opportunity for children to connect with nature in this way is something that leaves a lasting impression. It inspires them by seeing what is really out there. When they visit our gardens, they see all these butterflies. And when they go home, they realize that they can have this in their own backyard. So they do go outside and look for all these butterflies. If you get involved with butterflies, you're going to spend a lot of time out in uh, fields filled with flowers, out in the sunshine, uh, learning new things and enjoying yourself and being healthy. So uh, we urge you uh, to join with us. Come here, visit the National Butterfly Center. And or if you can't do that this week, uh, join the North American Butterfly Association and, and um, join us in this uh, wonderful endeavor to try to not only save the planet's butterflies, but to save ourselves. The National Butterfly Center is focused on growing the connection between people, butterflies, and the earth. To learn more or to help support the important work being done at the NBC, visit us in person or online.